How to start earning money mining Ethereum. The current value of Ethereum is hovering around $1,738 per coin, and I'm proud to say that I'm earning a daily profit of approximately $140 by mining and selling Ethereum. In this video, I'll show you precisely how to set up and mine Ethereum. A few months ago, I shared on my social media how I earn $100 per day by mining Ethereum, and many of my followers and friends requested a detailed tutorial on how to do this or how they can start mining in Ethereum. In case you're unfamiliar with mining cryptocurrency, this basically involves using your computer's graphics card or a mining rig to generate cryptocurrency coins, in this case, Ethereum, which can then be sold for cash. By doing this, you can essentially create a passive income. This allows you to earn money every day by mining and selling cryptocurrency. This tutorial is designed to be super quick and easy. This is perfect for beginners and it involves no confusing coding. You can quickly do the entire setup process in just 10 minutes. Many Ethereum mining tutorials out there are overly complicated and often require difficult tasks that can be hard to understand for newbies. However, after months and months of mining Ethereum, I've found the easiest and most beginner-friendly way to do it. This tutorial will show you how to get started, so be sure to stay tuned. Let's get right into this tutorial, and I'll show you how to quickly set up and start mining Ethereum within 10 minutes, and you can sell it online for profit. The first step is pretty easy. Go to Google and search for the best Ethereum wallets. Click on the top 12 best Ethereum wallets link or any of the other links listed, which will give you a list of the best Ethereum wallets available. You need a wallet to store your Ethereum, and I'll explain a few things about them. The Ledger Nano X and Ledger Nano S are hardware wallets that hold your coins offline, making them much safer. They're more advanced, and I highly recommend getting one of these at some point if you don't already have one. However, if you want to hold your coins on both your desktop and mobile devices, a great option is the Atomic Wallet. With hardware wallets like Ledger, your coins are stored on the blockchain and viewed on your desktop, making it harder for people to steal them. However, for the sake of simplicity, I recommend downloading a desktop and mobile wallet if you're new to this. We'll be using this wallet to get our Ethereum address for mining. To receive the coins from your mining machine, regardless of whether you're using a single GPU or a mining rig, you need a wallet. However, I suggest avoiding the Exodus wallet. In the past, I had trouble with it getting hacked, and I lost around $50,000 worth of coins. I'm not sure if they fixed the issue, so it's better to use a different wallet for safety purposes. If you're new to this and don't have a wallet yet, I suggest finding and downloading one. For beginners, I recommend the Atomic Wallet. However, for added security in the future when you have more money, consider purchasing a Ledger Nano for a more secure option. The next step would be to visit Minerstat.com slash hardware slash GPUS, where you can check how much profit you can make per day using your graphics card. For instance, by running 8 of these cards, I'm able to make approximately $100 per day, which adds up to $150 in my currency. To find out how much profit you can make per day from your specific graphics card, simply locate it on the list and check the corresponding average daily profit. This process is straightforward and easy to follow. To calculate your total profit per day, you simply need to multiply the individual profit by the number of cards you have. For instance, if you have a mining rig with 8 3090s, which is unlikely as these are scarce, you would make $35 per day per card, resulting in a total profit of $280 per day. This equation is easy to compute, and the profit mentioned is for one card only, so multiplying it by the total number of cards will give you the total profit you can earn per day by mining Ethereum. The next step is to visit Minerstat.com and scroll down. There are two things you must do first. Firstly, you need to download the mining software for Windows by clicking on the corresponding link and installing it on your computer. After downloading it, you should refrain from opening it immediately since it's not required at this moment. Return to Minerstat.com and select Get Started. Here, you'll be required to follow the instructions to create your account. After completing the whole process of creating a new account, hover over the right tab where you'll find an access key. Make sure to copy this access key since it's necessary for logging in every time you use Minerstat.com. Remember, it's free to have one worker, and you can start mining without upgrading. To add a new worker, simply choose a name for it and select the graphics card type you have, such as NVIDIA, and the operating system, such as MS OS or Windows. Once you have done this, click on Add Worker. This process is so easy because it practically does everything for you. At this point, you have your access key, and if you haven't downloaded the software yet, you can do so now. 
However, if you've already downloaded the software, you do not need to do it again. Then navigate to the address editor. Although we'll be doing things in a different order, for now let's focus on the address editor. You shouldn't have to make any changes to this section since it's pre-populated with the most optimal mining pools. To keep things simple, leave the bulk section as is. However, for the wallet section, delete all the addresses to keep it clean. You'll have an address in the wallet that you downloaded and you can edit it here in the wallet section by simply replacing it with a given address. After entering the address, click save and the donation tab will disappear, leaving your address in its place. Remember that you will need to create your own address in your wallet. After entering your wallet address, click save and you're done with the section. There's no need to do anything else here. The next step is to go to the worker configuration section and verify that all the settings are the same as shown. There is no need to modify any of the settings such as overclocking the GPU or enabling profit switching as these are advanced features. Make sure the default client option is selected which automatically sets up common mining pools. Check that the mining configuration is set to simple with eth and eth cache selected and the mining pool is set to etheuethmine.org on port 14444. Verify that everything looks exactly like the example shown. To set up the wallet, simply click the address that was previously entered and that's all that needs to be done. Optionally, you can input your electricity cost if you wish so that the software can calculate your pure your profit after accounting for electricity expenses. To do this, find out your electricity cost per kilowatt and enter it into the software. However, for simplicity's sake, we'll skip this step and just click Save Changes. In my case, the mining software deducts around $6 per day for electricity costs. There are some additional features here, such as a mining calculator that takes you back to the previous page, as well as a few other options. This is everything you need to do to get started. Once you've completed these steps, simply start the software on your computer and it will begin running automatically. You'll know it's working when the green icon appears and the statistics start to show up under the worker tab. Follow the steps I've shown in this video and you won't need to make any changes. Let the software do its job and you won't need to do anything else. You'll notice that the small green symbol will appear and if you click on the worker section, in my own account, it displays all the relevant data including my daily earnings, power consumption in watts, mining pool, and other important information. It's normal for some of the cards to have low efficiency, so don't worry about that. In my setup, I have 8 cards running and this section provides all the necessary information such as temperature, fan speed, power consumption, and hash rate. However, it may take a day or two for this information to appear. Nonetheless, I'd like to show you something else. To check your balance, go to the balance monitoring option. If you don't see it yet, it may take a few days to show up, or it could be a feature in an upgraded version. To check your balance, select add new pool. Choose the pool you're using, in this case, Ethereum in F. Enter your wallet address and click add pool. After a few days, you'll notice that the last update session appears. By clicking on the view pool button, you'll be able to see all the information regarding the address, including payouts. The payouts for this specific address occur every eight days. This section provides comprehensive information specific to your address. You can also monitor your worker from this page. This is a useful resource to check if your mining process is working properly. To access it, simply navigate to the balance monitoring section and follow the steps I've demonstrated. So this is how you can start mining Ethereum and earn money online. However, it's important to note that the amount you earn depends on the number of graphic cards you have. In my case, I have 8 cards, which is why I make around $100 per day. If you have a standard card, you may only make around $20 per day. Nevertheless, it's a great way to earn some extra cash, and setting it up is easy and doesn't require any complex coding. You can follow the steps I showed you in this video, and you can have everything set up in 5-10 to 10 minutes. Start mining and earning now. I hope this video is a great help, especially for everyone who's looking for ways to earn extra income. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video, and have a great day. See you soon!